Now for the latest where you are with the ITV News. Hello again. Now the main stories in London. Thousands of people are expected to gather in Trafalgar Square this afternoon to celebrate Diwali Festival after it was cancelled last year. The Festival of Lights is celebrated by Hindus, Sikhs and Jains across the world. Earlier, organisers told us that it was an opportunity to illuminate London once again. This year we're back with a very different event. Um, we have, in the past, we've had live performances on stage. This year they're not going to happen. We have a big screen and we have had an incredible amount of support from the community sending us their performances that they've done as we've emerged from our darkest days. With the Festival of Lights, we really will illuminate London once again. Londoners have come together at Southwark Cathedral to pray for the success of the COP26 Climate Summit. The Faith for the Climate Group, who organised the event, say the conference will be a chance to change course to avoid catastrophic climate change. The COP26 Summit starts on the 31st of October and will be attended by leaders from across the globe. Now, with a global pandemic, fuel shortages, the spiralling cost of fertiliser and a miserable summer, British farmers have had a difficult 18 months. And now they face a new threat. The marmorated stink bug, an insect native to China, Japan and Korea, has been captured at the Royal Horticultural Gardens in Wisley. Although tiny, it has caused millions of pounds of damage to crops in Europe and the States. Anna Geary has been finding out more. A discovery made in a garden in Surrey, the brown marmorated stink bug, an insect that gets its name from the foul smell it gives off when threatened. Native to Asia, they have already invaded America and then Europe, so scientists like Glenn have been monitoring their arrival here. So it's actually mostly spreads as a hitchhiker. Um, hidden away in, inside um, imports of, of various different goods and packaging material um, and it can also be spread in passenger luggage as well. The bug was caught in this pheromone trap at the Royal Horticultural Society in Wisley. It's not yet known if it is part of an undiscovered local population. Whilst it poses no threat in the short term, the insects can be devastating for farmers as they feed on developing fruit, particularly apples, spoiling crops. In the longer term, if we see more of these and if they do start to breed, then that could be an issue because we know from problems elsewhere in the world where they've invaded new regions, then they have caused damage to a number of different crops. Glenn says the stink bugs are likely to spread in London first due to the urban heat. They thrive in higher temperatures. With time in future, then climate change is likely to affect um, the establishment and maybe the impact of, of this insect. It does particularly well in warmer regions of the world. We know that it can complete probably one generation per year in our, in our climate, but with future warming over maybe 20 or 30 years or more, then that might sort of um, favour the insect more. In the meantime, scientists continue to watch its presence in the region, hoping to stay ahead of the game and stop the bug from becoming a threat. Anna Geary, ITV News, Wisley. Now let's take a look at the sport results. For the love of the game. eBay sponsors ITV Regional Sports Reports. Well, as you've been hearing, it was a landslide for Chelsea at Stamford Bridge with a 7-0 victory against Norwich City. In the 3 o'clock kickoffs. Watford are away at Everton with a current score of one all, whilst Crystal Palace are currently 0-0 against Newcastle. And in the Rugby Premiership, 10th place London Irish are hoping for their first win of the season away against Exeter Chiefs with another 3 o'clock start. After a strong opener, the current score is 26-14 to the Irish. And reigning champions Harlequins are drawing to Bath at a sold-out stoop in Twickenham. It's 17 all to the Quins after a 50 minutes of play. Now here's Chris with the weather. 
Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV London Weekend Weather. Hello there. Very good evening to you. A wonderful start first thing this morning. I've had a brilliant photo sent in for one of our viewers, Nick, in the capital this morning. As you can see, a gorgeous red sky this morning as that sunrise popped over the horizon. And as we go through tonight and into tomorrow, we've got a weather front out towards the west that will gradually migrate its way eastwards across the country tonight and tomorrow. But notice it just begins to fizzle out that rain. So I think through tomorrow afternoon, yes, a touch more cloud, but we should stay largely dry. Now, the theme of the dry story continues with us overnight tonight. We hold on to the cloud cover as well. There'll be a few breaks developing here and there, but with the cloud cover, the southerly airflow, our temperatures not dropping much lower than around 9 to 12, 12 degrees Celsius. It means that we start tomorrow morning on Sunday then, a little bit of sunshine around here and there, but holding on to the partly cloudy skies through the day tomorrow. Notice that weather front trying to make inroads, so it will introduce more cloud. The odd spit and spot of light rain, but I think for most of us staying dry and holding on to temperatures around 12 to near 15 degrees Celsius, 59 in Fahrenheit. Sunshine and showers in the forecast on Monday, but it turns drier Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Take care. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV London Weekend Weather. And that's uh, all from the London team for now. We'll be back tomorrow at uh, 10 to 7. Until then, I do hope you have a great evening. Bye-bye.